Time is an odd thing. I left Karnaka decades ago, excited about all the Dunwall might hold. I remember falling in love with Jessamine, watching her crowned as Empress, Emily's birth, the Rat Plague, then Jessamine's death and another coronation. Now all this, back in the city where I was born. Stilton's home hides a mystery, but I'll tear it apart brick by brick to learn the secret of Delilah's immortality as long as it ends with her in chains. She might have pulled herself up from nothing, but I ran out of sympathy for tyrants and witches a long time ago. All I want is to put an end to Delilah's reign and make sure Emily is safe. One more time. Definitely odd. Something just shifted. Stilton sealed off from the rest of the district. This place is cursed, cracked. I can feel the void seeping in. food for Stilton. They drop food for me, in and out, like the wind. I think they're afraid. We'll be getting started soon. The Duke's beloved is coming back. I dreamed the Duke and I were hunting, but the deer had faces. There are whales down in the mines. I hear them howling to one another. Swollen beasts. How did I get so old? Where are the men of my younger days? The dancers we had here. Time is leaking, coming out of the walls. It's ruining the carpets. Go to Dunwall and tell the Empress that the Duke is in the garden digging up corpses. And he has learned how to sing. She'll know what you mean. That thing of bones that Ashworth made. It's on the ceiling. I hear it at night. Bones from the deep, far beneath the waves. I think I heard something under my shirt. What's that? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, nothing. What time is it? Is it the time I think it is? Someday I'll play the piano for you, Theodanus. That sound is funny. It's so bright in here when I close my eyes. I say something.
know? Snap out of it, man. Burn the quilts, will you? I feel. Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And a part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. It watches you from within, and at the heart of Stilton's house, the Void is leaking through a pinprick left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. Like it's going to be cold tonight. Is there bad news from the mines? I can sense it. How many dead? This can't be right! Who has been fooling with the clocks? I'll have their pay docked! The days are burning. Can't you smell it? Right up in smoke! I remember that night, sitting out waiting. I knew it was wrong. I don't want you meddling with my things. My house is fine, you see? Theo? Where are you, my friend? I must speak to you. Let's have tea in the kitchen. I've got to clean up. They'll all see I don't belong among the upper crust. The fine people. I can't stand the way they look at me. Ashworth, Jindosh, and little Luca grown up. They will never accept me. Not really. She clawed her way back! Ashworth helped open the way! Quiet! The one in the void hears everything. Put that thing away, will you? Grotesque. Yes, yes, I can see it. The others can't, can they? He is trapped inside himself. Some... Terrible ceremony echoes through his thoughts. There was a whisper and a groan. Strange as the wails in the deep. He hears it still. He would pluck out his own eyes if it would help him forget what he saw. Before this, he was so worried the old money people would laugh at him. They did. And he's singing. Wait. Not singing. Some vibration. Coming from the center of this place. Still to look deeply into the void. He cannot unsee what he has seen. He was a doubter. He was afraid. That's why his mind was ruined on that night. The night this terrible thing happened to him. He wanted to meet with Megan. To confide in her. 
and I can't get in without the combination. There's a note on the door, Captain Winterbun. What? Hmm, he's out back. I need the code to the study. It's in his notebook, ma'am, but he keeps it with him. Thank you, Corporal. Speaking bluntly, I really don't like Stilton's guests. Earlier, I got my ass chewed out by the royal curator. What's her name? You're talking about Brianna Ashworth, I believe. Yes, that's her. She's an odd one. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain. I can still hear the tick-tock of the metronome I used when teaching Emily to fence. I remember Jessamine learning to play and trying to get Emily to practice. The only way out of here is through the present, using this timepiece. Stilton had taste before lunacy took his mind. I gotta get a spare uniform. I don't know what hurts more. My feet and my neck.
change in the present based on what I do here tonight. Close my locker before coming out? Ugh. Last time I left it open, someone left a hagfish in my jacket pocket. There's something else you should know. The center of the manor is off limits tonight. Everything around the study. What's so special about the center of the manor? Nothing, usually. But the Duke and his party are here tonight, and they don't want to be disturbed. So that entire part of the house is under lockdown by the Grand Guard. I'm not sure how to take your tone. I assure you, I rub shoulders with some of Karnaka's best people. Trust me, you don't want to get tangled up with the Duke and his inner circle. I'm not sure how Mr. Stilton tolerates them, to be honest. off at the last minute because he's got more important guests? That's not like Stilton. At least it's the likes of Jindosh and Ashworth, and dare I say it, the Duke himself. I might have gotten shuffled aside, but I'll have a story to tell. Never know such an elegant manor could be buried at the heart of an industrial district. Stilton wasn't born to all this. Allegedly, he started as a miner. Megan claims Stilton was a good man, at odds with the Duke. Understand. I'm going to call for help. 
play the harp or the piano not that i ever heard what am i doing here then why hire a tuner for instruments no one ever plays if you ask me stilton thinks a harp or a piano is the kind of thing a man in his position should own i'm not sure what that means i've always thought people bought an instrument because they liked music not always sometimes it's about appearances Once they say something's amiss, then I just can't get comfortable. to understand. I'm going to call for help if you don't go. I pay good money to make sure things whatever you need, I can't help you. Might be able to get around that going back into the past.
I wonder what I was doing in Dunwall on this night, or what I am doing. open in the present. Fish. River Crust is more likely. Can I read? Of course I can read. What's he think? <laughs> Gently. It's silver. It's not going to break. I'm not worried about it breaking. You know why the basement's sealed off? Blood flies. Yeah. They should keep the curious away. And we'll come back later to pick up the loot. It's a good, simple plan. So why are you nervous? Dumbass, if you disturb that nest, they'll find our bloated corpses down here a week from now, full of blood fly maggots. Are they that bad? We don't have anything like that in Morley. Trust me, they're that bad. And this year is the worst I've ever seen.
Maybe there's a way around three years from now. Staring at nothing. I don't think the Duke and Stilton are on good terms. Today feels different. Stilton seems spooked. Watch yourself up there. Nobody's repaired the balcony yet. If those supports break, I might not be able to catch your heavy ass. I'm counting on you, ma'am. It might be romantic. All right. to do with a request like that? Gooseberry wine in the south? families. 
I should think that's just obvious. Whatever happened seems to be centered at some focal point. I need the combination to Stilton's study. like reinforced glass. Was there a break-in? Nothing of the sort. We're just renovating for Mr. Stilton. His windows went out of style? These rich choppers drive me nuts. Stilton just worries about his home and about how he speaks and dresses. Always afraid of making some mistake, socially speaking. That's no way to live. Not even comfortable in your own skin. I'll let you get back to it. I've got to get back to Dunwall. I feel so bad. I haven't seen the kids in two years.
chest. Bet it's full of fancy clothes and exotic jewelry. I'd love to see the silver graphs they take here. Ah, clothes smell like old people. Probably from a charity shop. Wish I knew how the silver graph machine works. <laughs> we could take a picture together. I want to take Clarissa and the kids to that silver graph studio not too far from here and have our portrait made. But it's expensive. There's a, a brooch or something, maybe made of bone? Ugh, seems weird. I'm not touching that. And, uh, more old clothes. Be sure to check all the pockets. Tilton. Stilton must be a big reader. I saw the books in the study. Stilton? <laughs> Hardly. Those are for show. Why would you buy so many books if you're not even gonna read them? They're not books. They're symbols of wealth and good breeding. Now, get back to doing your job. Yes, ma'am.
wildlife is so rich here in Karnaka. the combination since then. Damn. What are they doing? Come on. Someone could show up any minute. Stop crying. For once, something interesting is happening. If a bunch of drunk aristocrats are having an orgy, I don't want to miss it. I bet it's a seance with spirit boards and candles. Stilton invited that eccentric lady from the Royal Conservatory, Brianna Ashworth. Shit, I heard something. Move! An entire shipment of whale... <laughs> You worked this assignment since the month of hers last year. Stilton's all right. Sheila told me he used to be a miner. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. He's done really well for himself. Look around. Well, anyone who has the Duke over for a dinner party or whatever this is, I'd say he's doing well. Someday this will be me. Oh, I'm sure. Guard was protecting Stilton back then. Aramis Stilton, before things went wrong. Stilton's combination is missing.
When the Duke trusts me, I can finally rest easy. After tonight, it will all go well. <laughs> oh, the look on his face. Well, who was he expecting, the Empress? What a fool. Pressured me into it. I never would have agreed to this ritual, or whatever it is. Sometimes I wonder, is Luca Bell truly his father's son? Oh my, is that my breath I'm smelling? I should Maybe never have agreed to host this meeting. event. What was I thinking? Tonight, I'll see Megan. And we'll laugh about all of this. She'll laugh that I was worried. Worried over nothing. Sometimes I think I'd rather be down below working the rock. <laughs> this huge place. What has it gotten me? Theo's gone like he never even existed. He puts on those All boots, I've got left of memories and a few way. statues Isn't scattered it? across the city. Hmm. This is to keep you from seeing whatever drove you into a nightmare tonight. She wouldn't know a promotion if it hit her in the head. In fact, maybe what effect is knocking Stilton unconscious going to have on the present? That notebook contains Stilton's combination. Duke and Megan Foster. 
senses the beauty in the eyes. Rich veins of ore cutting through quartz. Great caverns lit by phosphorescent life within the stone. up here. What happened? Things seem to be the worst here. The two times are overlapping somehow. It's time to begin. Where's Stilton? I should never have kept him on just because he and my father were close. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, Set them aside now. This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge where natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. All of you, Delilah is your rightful empress. You owe her this. Delilah's stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice whispering to us. And now it's time. So take your positions. Focus on the void behind the world. You can feel her power, can't you? By the stars. This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Returned from the cold, from forever. She lives. How curious. It seems to have worked. My spirit is safe now, inside this thing. Luca, you must lock it away. I thought we'd lost you, Brianna. Luca, I will never abandon you. Wait! You are hidden, but I know who you are. I know when you are. You've come to watch me return, and someday I'll come for you.
You'd better run. You have to understand. I'm going to call for help. before Mr. Stilton returns home. I want to beat out the rugs, but the dust I'll makes him cough. Too many years in the silver mines. But go ahead, he won't be back until very late tonight. He's throwing a party for one of the miners who's retiring. They broke the mold when they made old Aramis Stilton. Yeah, so true. It's really the man's heart that's made of silver. I'm long overdue for a day to myself, to do whatever I want. Stilton's house is as it should be. He'll never know.
I can go and have a mug of something at the pub and feel a little like... Sokolov should be waiting. Why'd they slow down Flow 4? Did Marco say? 
Apparently the family committee made a request. Too much dust was pissing down. Well, at least Stilton listens to them. More than I can say for the Grand Guard. Yeah, the Duke is rotten and it spreads out from there. But Aramis Stilton is a good man. I'll tell him you said that. He drinks at my brother's pub. He knows we appreciate him. Karnaka has problems, but it could be a lot worse here in this district. Oh, we've been able to keep the shift hours at 10. Anything longer and miners make mistakes. Without Stilton's support, this district would have fallen into anarchy by now. There's word that by next month, everyone in the mines will be issued one of Stilton's new air masks. Things could be worse, I guess. At the request of Air Miss Stilton, I'm told I need to present another set of awards to critical mind workers. Is it for safety? Certainly not productivity this time. You should all thank Stilton. The only one of you lazy and great's worth anything. Back to work, all of you. you. Up for a beer later? And that. Workers from all across the Empire. Every city represented. Lucia Pastor, right? You deserve thanks for helping the people here. Considering who you are, I don't know whether to feel honored that you recognize me, or to yell at you for propping up the Duke while he's shitting all over Circonos. And who do you think I am? I'm not stupid. Whether the newspapers and the posters in the street are right or wrong, I know who you are. And I hope you're here to end Luca Abella's tyranny. Either way, we haven't been sitting around waiting for you to clean up your mess. Sounds like you have a plan. No, nothing that solid. Not yet. But I believe the Duke will fall, eventually. All I can say is that when you reach the Grand Palace, just be aware that not everyone there is your enemy. Trust your judgment. All right. I'll remember that. Anyway, good luck. There's still a chance to make something new here in Karnaka. Something that serves everyone, not just some rapacious bastard with a title. <laughs> There's always so much to do. So little time to think. The mining families in the district work as hard as the miners. Kids to feed, sick people to care for, homes to run. The families we represent are very poor, but aren't afraid of hard work. Good people. Agreed to a meeting with the woman heading up the family committee. What's her name again? Lucia Pastor. Well, she's supposed to talk to Stilton soon about new safety rules for the mines. A few more hours for the children working down there, too. Why does Pastor care in the first place? She isn't one of us. Never seen her carrying a pick or a shovel. There's a rumor that she was in love with a miner, someone who died in an accident. They say his body's still under the mountain, buried in silver. I think Lucia Pastor just has a good heart and a strong will. Well, if Stilton listens to what she has to say, instead of following every idiotic request coming from the Grand Palace, I won't complain. Stilton's not a bad man. I bet things would be a lot worse without him running the mines. The Duke would be grinding the families here into nothing if he was left unchecked. It's good to know that some people care about what's going on in the mines. With the city at the edge of disaster, 
It's taken everything we've got to maintain decent conditions in the mines. Duca Bell is nothing like his father. We beat his mercy without still. It's a hot one. Whew. That's for sure. <coughs> Maybe no one will even notice. But things have changed here for the better. quick. Sorry I couldn't take you to see Stilton myself, but I guess you found the place. Years back, Stilton was always quiet about the Duke, and never figured out just why. Lucky for the miners, it must have been Aramis Stilton does all he can Corbo. against the Duke's Changed destructive time, ways. Still the same. Are you ready to leave? <clears throat> the dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I found a way to get around Paolo and Byrne, and I've been to Stilton's house. Let's go. 